his problem, unsubscribing or whatever the hell. But uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> On to the next one. Minercon. Am I your friend? Sure, we can be friends. I have like a ton of friends though, so like you have to squeeze in on the side. I can maybe like pencil you in to hang out for like half an hour, like three Sundays from now, maybe. But who knows? Anal again? Somebody? Everybody always likes hearing about butt sex, even though it's just who I. I'm, ah. Not even butt sex. Just butt sex comes around every so often in these questionnaires. But the biggest things, it seems like it's about poop or something disgusting or some sort of mutilation. And I skip over most of those, just so you know. Just so if anybody starts sending a bunch of those in, I just I just don't have much fun answering those, to be honest. Um, anyway, shouldn't be talking on my own volition. I should be listening to what you guys have to say and answering. Puffy Ghost. Not sure if you've done it already, but a vid on drug legalization prohibition would be cool. Um... Idealistically, I am in favor of legalizing all drugs because it's not my uh, prerogative to be able to just look at someone else and say, you should not be able to do this. You should not be able to experience this state of mind because it's not what I agree with. Uh, if they're coming into my house and stealing my shit so they can buy drugs, now that I have a problem with. But even then, it's more the, 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 the thievery that I have a problem with. Excuse me, I have to have a drink. So... Even then, it's not the drugs that are causing it, it's uh, what is a side sidestep of the drugs. So they have to sell uh, sell shit that they steal to get money for the drugs. So, idealistically, 100% in favor, good to go, I'm fine with it. Realistically, it seems like there are only a handful of drugs that should be legalized, and I'm not going to be so audacious as to say I know which one's 100%, uh, but it seems like the natural ones that people really don't mess with all the time should be legal, like mushrooms or marijuana. Um, but hey, who knows? A lot of differing arguments there, and I'm not going to pretend to be an expert. TKD, X for the win. Homeschooling through high school. Um, I can't give much of an opinion on that because I was never homeschooled, but what I can say is that from kids that I would meet who were homeschooled, it seemed as though they had a really warped perception of social interaction because being homeschooled, everything revolves around the child all the time. All the time. They are the center of attention. They are the wonderful beacon of intellectual light that shines down upon everyone else. And so a lot of these kids came in just thinking they were just just huge intellectual powerhouses and just so great because their parents had built them up for so long. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. And they simply weren't. And so these kids would come in, and then every conversation, they would find a way to redirect it back to themselves. And so, like, they were kind of like one-up people. You'd be like, oh, yeah, we went to my uncle's lake house and got on a, you know, a jet ski. And they'd be like, oh, yeah, we went to our lake house, or our ocean house, and we went on our speedboat. And it's like, wow, that's cool. Douchebag. Like, you just, you just don't like people like that. So I would recommend you don't. Don't homeschool through high school, you know, those those social interactions, you, you learning to speak with other people and not be really awkward, and I'm not saying awkwardness is bad, it's a necessary part of social interaction and learning, but, you know, you gotta get out there, you gotta learn those things, those are almost as important as the school stuff you're learning, actually probably even more important than what you're learning in school, is just learning basic social interaction skills, a lot of which happens in high school, because that's when you bumble about like an awkward idiot, or at least I know I did. Um... What is your favorite television show, and why? Um, I'm gonna give my little my little recommendation again. Game of Thrones is always great. Just go check that out. They need to start paying me. I mentioned that show so much, or that series, whatever the hell they want to call it on HBO. The little pretentious titles. But uh, favorite show, probably right now, Workaholics. Workaholics is coming out on top. The th season three just came out. Thoroughly enjoying it. If you're not watching that, you're a damn fool, sir. Um, Next, T Pro 83. If you could go forward in time, when would you go and what would you expect to see? Um, I would look for the next huge Powerball in the state of Missouri, and if it was like $200 million or something, I would go to the day after they announced the winning numbers for that, then I would go back, fill in all the winning numbers, and then have all that money and just live the rest of my life feeling awesome. So that's what I would do. So. I'm sure you wanted me to say something like, I want to travel to the year 2560 and see the first Mars base, or whatever the hell. But, uh, nope. Nope, we're doing the selfish route. All for me. None for, any, none for anybody else. Sorry. Alright. God, got a frog in my throat, pretty much. That, that saying doesn't make sense. Someone explain it to me. Um, J Stone Leet. Your thoughts on holiday mascots, Cupid, Santa, Easter Bunny. Um... 
Cupid, he's cool. I mean, had a few beers with him once. Wasn't that interesting, but he wasn't a bore either. Uh, looks young, though. Bar Bouncer didn't even let him in at first. So he showed him his ID. Um, Santa, not he's Santa's not real, you goddamn idiot. Um, and Easter Bunny just is just a non sequitur after a non sequitur. It's like, all right, well, Jesus is raised from the dead after he died. And also, so we're going to have a, a rabbit. And the rabbit's going to lay eggs and paint them. And they're going to be made of chocolate with sometimes with little orange flavored shavings inside. They're going to be kind of gross, but you eat them anyway because it comes with chocolate. And what are you going to do? Pretend that you don't like it in front of the grandparent that gave it to you and they're watching you eat it so you feel the implications to finish the food like you enjoy it. Oh, man. Totally didn't happen. But. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're weird, they're kind of dumb, but at the end of the day, they're good fun. They're good fun. Blizzard, GB, what's the future going to be like? Um, the future is going to be... It's going to be cool, because, I mean, at least the, the, a brief little glimpse of the future is going to be cool, because I'll be there and be able to experience it. But then after that, I can't really say, I won't be here. So that'll be up to you to figure out if you die after me. All right. I'm no 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 difficult names. Talk about Zubats and how do you pick video titles for the Would You Rather's in these videos? Um, Zubats suck. If you've ever trained a Zubat in Pokemon, uh, you should be crucified. And picking video titles, I usually just pick one of the most interesting questions I was asked and then just name it that. Or for Would You Rather, I just pick one of the Would You Rather's. Really, not much creativity behind those. I mean, I, 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 I wish I could take more credit for it, but no, I just kind of record these, slap it into Premiere, render it out, throw it up on YouTube, and then you guys are like, "Yay, videos!" And I'm like, "Yay, I'm awesome!" And uh, that's about the end of the process. Worst movie you have ever seen? The worst, probably like Transformers Two. Transformers 2, one of the Transformers movies, they're just so god awful. Like it, it, it's it's a it's a tangible pain watching Megan Fox and Shia LaBeouf on screen at the same time. It's just like it's you know when you go to a talent show for a bunch of little kids and they do something really shitty and you are becoming vicar like you're you're vicariously embarrassed for them. You're like oh my god, they are bombing so hard. I have that queasy feeling in the pit of my stomach and in my chest. Like oh they're bombing so hard. Poor them, poor them. And I feel. I am empathizing so much with their emo like their their embarrassment that I feel embarrassed. That's what Transformers was like. You know, that's what Transformers was like. I would have rather sit there in that packed theater and watched videos of me naked in the tub when I was a little kid than watch Transformers again. No thank you, sir. I I, I had enough. Michael Bay, you asshole. Screw you. Go go kill yourself. Uh which of course I'm just joking, Mr. Bay. We're still on for golf Tuesday, right? Uh so Chiaga, 489. Questions to ask a doctor to make the visit super awkward. Um, you can ask if... Hmm. Just just allude to the fact to be like, so if uh, some of my friends said that they stick things in their butt, is that is that okay for you? Is that safe? And the doctor would be like, yeah, I mean, you can do that. And he's like, you would be like, well, hypothetically, like, like what? Like how big of an object could I put up there? He's like, well, it depends on. It. I'm like, no, no, no. Just hypothetically, how big of an object could I fit up there? And just like make him say something like, oh, I don't know. I mean, it depends on your butthole and how elastic your sphincter is. And make him just go off and say shit like that and try and keep your straight face. But uh, yeah, that'll get it going. And then ask him uh, about uh, preferences between Astroglide and KY and stuff like that. Should be funny. But um, anywho. That's the end of this little 20-minute-ish thing that I'm doing for you guys because I'm great. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Leave a rating if you did. Um, leave a rating if you didn't. You know, don't need to differentiate there because, of course, you did. But that's the end.